I've had a lot of requests for an example problem that goes over rule 26250, which is the overcurrent protection that is going to protect transformer circuits. Um, so I'm going to do that here. I took this picture from one of my other videos that sort of breaks down uh, this section 26 about the transformer protection uh, into how we're supposed to do these calculations. So we do a primary winding and a secondary winding, just, uh, you know, our, our regular, um, our regular uh, volt amp calculations with the line voltage and the current. And that's different for single phase and three phase, just because we have that root three in there. And then the next one, two, three, four parts of, of this is just, let me try to annotate here. Uh, so these are just our, our um, calculations for our transformer. And then the rest of this section here is figuring out the size of the fuse or circuit breaker. And all this breaks down to is the factor that you're multiplying here by 1.25 if it's a fuse and high voltage, by three if it's a circuit breaker and high voltage, by 1.5 if it's greater than nine amps in the primary wa primary winding and it is oil cooled low voltage uh, by 1.67 if it's greater than nine amps in the primary winding it, and it is low voltage less than 75 volts oil cooled and it is three or 300% if it's less than two amps in the primary winding low voltage oil cooled. It is 1.25 or 125% for low voltage dry. So that's what those rules in section 26 of installation of electrical equipment, how to protect a transformer mean. It's just a whole lot of rules that all boil down to what factor are you going to put before the line voltage of the primary winding. So let's do one of these. Example, determine the rating of the primary fuse for a five megawatt amp three phase dry type transformer with a primary of, um, of, uh, 27.6 kilovolts and a secondary of 13.8 kilovolts. So let's see, it's going to be a fuse. We have to take that from the question and it's three phase. We have to take that from the question. So it looks like we are already, we already know that we are working in here. It's, we can take this three phase primary calculation and we can take this three phase secondary calculation. And then we know that we are in a high voltage application here. And we are, um, since we're in the high voltage application and we're looking at a fuse or actually, yeah, we are in a high voltage application and we are looking at a fuse. So then we are using um, 26,250. So, Let's do that. Uh, let me choose a different color here. And you'll have to excuse me, I don't have my marker with me, so it's a little bit messy. Uh, actually, I'm just gonna erase that. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna take this exact calculation here and I'm going to solve, oops, I'm going to solve for I, and I'm not going to write it down again. I'm going to solve for I line. I line is then, if I solve for I line, then it would be the voltage. Times the current. Sorry, it'll be the volt amps over at root three times the voltage. And when I substitute that in, five megavolt amps. Then I would do a conversion of how many megas are in a volt amp in one megavolt amp. That's how many 
megavolt amps are in a volt amp, I would then divide all of that by root three times the voltage that's the primary voltage that's in the question. Twenty seven six zero zero volts. Excuse the messiness using my my uh, finger as a pencil here. And that is going to equal 104.7 amps. If I were to do that for the secondary windings, I'm gonna do it in a different color. If I were to do that for the secondary windings, I would be using this equation. And for the secondary windings, I would get I equals five megavolt amps times again, one, two, three, four, five, six volt amps, that's six zeros. Uh, divide all of that by root three times the voltage, which is 13.8, 13,800 volts would get me for the secondaries 209.4 amps. But this question is just asking to determine the rating of the primary fuse. So I'm using a fuse, which uh, fuses actually have this section, uh, this subsection two. Subsection two actually says that you can round up, but Normally we would round down. So we'll talk about that once we calculate it. So for a fuse, we use this equation. So let's use this equation. And it just says that maximum calculated fuse rating. I'm going to say fuse rating in amps is going to be 1.25 times IL amps, which equals 1.25. You probably have time in this video to try this alongside myself. And I'm going to multiply that by my 104.7 amps, and that's going to give me 100, sorry, 157. Point one amps. And now at this point, and I'm still in this category, I'm just going to, I'm going to get rid of the rest of this. Um, and at this point, I say, okay, well, I better have a fuse of 157 amps in order to protect this transformer on the primary side. This three-phase transformer uh, needs 157.1 amp fuse to protect it. Now let's think about what we do because rule 26250 subsection two says, you know what? You could round up if you want. But what are we really supposed to do? So in this case, there's kind of two answers. You can round up because subsection two says you're allowed to, or you can round down 